Well, I'm heading down south now to Carnew, which is the village where my father's family are from, the Walkers. And, uh, well, I think, <laughs> I think it's quite an odd little village, but anyway, my father loved it. And he'd always stop off there, show us where he grew up and went to school and everything. And what's interesting about Carnew is it's a real Protestant enclave in the south. And in the north, obviously, Catholic Protestant thing is very overt. But in the south, it's kind of subtler where you're just made to feel slightly less Irish because of it and, and sort of other. And I'm looking forward to finding out how far back our family, but also indeed kind of Protestantism, goes back into the roots of Irish history because clearly we're not from anywhere else. You know, I'm Irish, I'm nothing else. Um, and it just, I want to know how deeply enmeshed in kind of Irish history we are. About 60 miles south of Dublin, Carnew was built by English settlers in the 17th century. Its high proportion of Protestants set it apart from other Irish communities. Even today, Carnew's Protestant population is four times the average for a southern Irish village. Graham's grandfather, George Walker, was a central figure within the community, a sexton of the local Protestant church. I don't have any really strong impression on my grandfather because he died when I was still quite young, so in my head, he's just kind of a generic old granddad, really. But I do remember being brought to this church by my dad when we visited Carnew. Now, if I remember, this is the, um, the Walker pew, um, number 20, because that had to be near the back because he was the sexton. Um, you know, to people arrive late or whatever, hand out the books. And uh, if I remember, when I was a kid, yeah, there's a BW, which would be my father, that would be Billy. Don't know who that is. Oh, there's another BW here. That clearly was very bored. <laughs> but also, you're kind of like, it's the family pew. Who could BW? I wonder who did that. Every family had their own pew. So, Ours was a bit ghetto. It's a bit, it's a bit street back here with our graffiti. <laughs> I mean, Grandad must have been livid when he saw this. To learn more about his grandfather, George, Graham is meeting his father's sister, Aunt May, who's come over from England. An old friend of hers, John Wilkinson, also remembers George from his childhood. Now, this is uh, Grandad and Granny's grave right. over here, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so. But God, I, this has all changed. This used to be, there used to be trees and. He was sexton here, so that was bell ringing. Yeah. Yes. And, would he have and a, a grave. He did the grave. I love digging the graves. Yeah. And if anybody like the school, <laughs> I, love, I loved it. Yeah. Somebody's dead. He hooray. did. He took a great pride. <laughs> took a great pride in the grave. Yeah, and then he was the pound keeper. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. So they had, you had to so pay it, him a fine. Yeah. yeah. See, if if somebody's um, cattle got out or something like that, and they were wrong, they they were put in the pound, and you had to pay my father to get get the cattle out of the yeah. pound. And doing those jobs, like uh, delivering summons or being the sexton here, yeah. would that give you a sort of social standing? Would you, I mean, would you have felt like a pillar of society oh, doing yeah, those jobs? Oh, yeah, George Walker. Yeah, George yeah. Walker, yeah. Oh, right, so... Yes. Yeah. And did he enjoy that side of things? Um, yes, I, th I, th I think he did, I think I'd say he yeah. did, yeah. With such strong links to the Church of Ireland, George Walker and his family were at the heart of Carnew's dominant Protestant community. Granny was a royalist. Yes, that's right. She was a real royalist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Granny Walker. Yeah, Granny Walker. Mm. Yeah. She hated the Irish army. Yeah. And uh, she hated anything to do with De Valera. And um, she was all for England. Yeah. And she'd play God Save the King as her going down to Mass. That's right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Surprised you had any Catholic friends. <laughs> yeah. 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 Just as in Graham's childhood, yeah. in Carnew, Protestants and Catholics weren't encouraged to socialise. But May's friend John is Catholic. 
the two of you would have gone to different schools. Oh yeah, we went to different schools. But would we you have different. would you have played much together, or was it where you would have been very separate? Uh, well, no, I, we I myself played yeah. with the Catholic children, and. Um, but and would granddad, would granddad have been in favour of that oh, or yes, against it? Yes, no, he would be in favour. Um, and was that rare at the time? Yes, it was, because the Protestant children kept to themselves. Yeah. And what would have happened now if uh, either a Catholic boy or a Protestant boy and a Catholic girl and a Catholic boy had got started courting? Would that have been a great...? That would have been, I imagine, oh, yes. yeah, that's a thought. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, terror, she yeah. would have to turn... Or whoever was the would have to turn Catholic, yeah. And it's weird, and it just—I suppose it all just seemed normal at the time. Yes, yeah, yeah. No, no, it was yeah. nothing. No, that's right. Yeah, it was just something you yeah. accepted. Yeah. yeah. And well, it turns out my grandfather George uh, was sort of Superman. He did everything in Carnew. He was much more establishment than I thought. I mean, he really was very close to connected to the church, and that was his his big passion, I think. Now, his father, William, my father's grandfather, he was named after him, um, he was involved in the church as well. So you kind of think, is the family's history very connected to the church's history? Were they always um, connected with the church? Or was it a newer thing? Um, Now, hopefully, we can find out who William's father is, because so far nobody knows that. May doesn't know it, my mum doesn't know it. So if we can find out who he is... And then we'll find out how far back this this link to the Protestant church goes.